Hey guys, David Yates, Clearwater Marine Aquarium, home of Rescue Rehab and Release and life-changing inspiration. That is one of the dolphin, of course, right there. She is uh, a rather loud young lady, I might add. She's doing well, doing a little therapy right there. And right here we have Hope. Of course, her uh, younger sister, but almost bigger sister right now. And you guys know we're all about inspiration here, right? In three R's, Rescue Rehab and Release Inspiration. I have an amazing young lady who will inspire you in what she's been through and what she's doing with her life today. Come over here and meet Kendall. Say hi to Kendall and Mom Leslie. All right, guys. Hi. Welcome. Good to have you here. Hi. Yeah. So tell us real briefly, this is Clearwater Marine Aquarium. We rescue animals, but you're here. You've had your own struggle. Mm -hmm. A little bit about what happened to you so people understand. Because what happened to you is very, very rare. Mm -hmm. With young people, we want to spread word about that. So what happened to you? So three years ago when I was 10, I was on the way to a softball game, and I couldn't hold anything. So my mom was worried, so we went to the hospital, and it turns out I had a stroke. And you were how old, you said? Yeah, and that, that's pretty rare, right, Mom? It's yeah, pretty rare to have 10 years rare. old. A lot of times, so she has what's called an ABM, right. arteriovenous malformation. ABM's right. a little easier. And it, they don't usually show up. It's a birth defect. But right. They don't usually show up or present themselves until you're between the ages of 20 and 40. Gotcha. So the fact that hers showed up at such a young age, and hers is quite large. So they, right. they didn't give us much hope, told us to go home and live our life, but we kept grinding away and found yeah, the right people to be able so to you, help us. So you didn't give up. We kinda didn't like, give like, up. Kind of like we didn't give up on winter. You didn't give up, no. and she's doing great today. She's and you're kind great. of you have a little kind of mission in life right now. What are you trying to do? Yeah. So we started a fundraiser called Kendall's Crusade to raise money for ABM patients, so right. they can get the right treatment they need, just like I got. Money. How, co how cool is this? It's called Kendall's Crusade, and where can they find that at on your Facebook page? Or Facebook what? page, and we have a website. Okay. So tell me, what is this? It's a picture of you doing what? I, uh, I saw this. I had all my winter stuff on. All right. So we sent you a winter stuff doll, a hat, everything else. So how has winter kind of inspired? How has winter kind of inspired you? What, do, what does winter mean to you? I mean, it's kind of cool to be able to see an animal, which I love animals. Um, it's kind of cool to see some other animal and have it going through a rough time. So I know that I'm not going to fail, and I know winter just kept going. And so speaking of, speaking of seeing the animal, let's go see her right now, okay? Let's go see Winter yeah. Hope. You ready? Yeah. Let's go see Winter and Hope. All right, there you go. Get, bring you down here, and we have both. That's Winter being loud, by the way. She always knows when we're on air. It's like, yeah, there goes Winter. Letting us know she's here. So here we go. This is Hope, of course. Both rescued dolphins. And we have Winter off to the other side. So there she is, getting have a little session with her trainer right now. She uh, wears her tail on and off, not wearing it right now. Wears it on and off throughout the day. Having lots of fun, and here's Hope off to the right. And here's Cammy, who's now gonna be in charge of the little encounter right now. So there you go, guys, have fun. All right. Can you join us? Sure. So again, Kendall is now uh, in eighth grade, and it's really neat how she's taken her life challenge of having a stroke, which is very rare for young people. Yeah, it's not that rare. And now using it to raise awareness and for other kids. Yeah, so we're raising awareness for Kendall's Crusade, and we're also raising money for Kendall's Crusade to raise money for Kendall's Crusade to raise money for Kendall's Crusade to raise money for and uh, raise money for that process also. So it's amazing what she's doing. Inspired by Winter and Hope, and now she's seeing Hope. From her uh, right out of the dolphin tail too, of course. Oh, what did I tell you? We call her Chatty Winter around here, guys. There you go. She's like, the camera's on, it's my turn. There you go, she's doing great, she's happy. That's what we want, we want happy. Mentally healthy animals, and that's what we have here. So. And of course, Hope and Winter are both uh, non releasable dolphins, as you guys all know. Atlantic bottlenose dolphins is a species they are. And uh, we're actually building a brand new habitat for them right now. It will be much, much larger than we have. It's in process. It will give them a lot more room to do the things they, uh, they want to do and they need to do as they uh, continue to grow. And uh, live healthy, long, healthy lives. And that's hope. All about fish for them. And Winter is showing off as she always is. Yeah, yeah. Winter is 12 years old, so she's an active young girl. There you go. She gets paid to do this. I, she, our, my team gets paid to do this. Do you believe this? How cool is that, right? That's all part of the bonding that they need between the animals. We become part of their family. If these animals can't survive in the world, our job is to become part of their family. So we do a lot of enrichment throughout the day. Not designed for entertainment, but it's, called, it's for enrichment, for their benefit, and we get to watch what happens. So. And in this case, believe it or not, Hope likes to be put on water even though she's in water, so figure that out, right? Kendall, is that pretty cool? Yeah. That's funny. She's 
she literally likes to get splashed when she's in water already. How funny is that? Kendall, what do you think? Really cool. I just feel cool to see the dolphins. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. Very neat. Up close and personal with Hope the Dolphins. Do you want to see what she So what, what is the little bit, she's 13 now, right? 13, 13 years yes. old. What's her normal life like right now? What's what's the prognosis? Well, so she's still a stroke risk until we get rid of her ABM. Okay. And her ABM's 85 to 90% gone. Wow. So what they did was they did radiation on her ABM. And when they did the radiation, her ABM is shaped like a hot dog, but the radiation goes out like the pebble on a pond. Okay. And so it hit some healthy brain tissue, which right. has caused her to not have use of her left hand, okay. has caused her to have a dropped left foot. She's missing is some that vision. Is likely permanent or will it be You don't know. Yeah. Um, they say that the, de the deficits are actually oddly a good sign right. because that means that the radiation's working. It's happening, right, Radiation right. doesn't work for everybody. Right, right. And so the ABM is this cluster of unnecessary blood vessels, right, right. and hers was eight centimeters, so it was quite large. Yeah, right. And the goal was to, if you radiate it, it, um, it shuts down the the veins that right. are in there. Right, right, okay. And as an ABM is best described, it's like hooking a fire hose up to, I mean, it's like hooking a um, garden hose up to a well, fire hydrant. Right, doesn't work, doesn't work. Well, she seems to be very happy right now, so. She, is. she really inspires us. Yeah. Uh, what I love about her is her attitude. Yes, very much so. You would never know she has a major medical issue with her attitude. And I, I love seeing that in kids once they challenge like that. Well, her line she dropped on me one time when I was working on some therapy on her hand was, I said, how's your foot doing?